everybody. Tim from Dice Tower West here. I am now going to show you five. That's right, our fifth shelf <laughs> of our work in progress from Dice Tower West. Uh, we're working really hard. It's a lot of work. Um, I know we'll get it done by then, but yeah, we'll be working a lot to make sure we do. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and give you a look and see how we're coming along and take a look at shelf five so far in the Dice Tower West Library. So here we go as we turn it around. This is shelf 5A. As you can see, a couple of editions of Suro. Fantastic intro game. I teach that a lot at Meepleville for people coming in, especially for bigger groups. It's good because you can get a, a lot of people. It plays up to eight in there. There we go. And Shelf 5B, this is one of my favorites because this is one of my favorite designers, Uwe Rosenberg. So Shelves 5B and C um, are going to be our Uwe Rosenberg collection. We have Fields of Arl, a great two-player game. Uh, very quintessential Uwe Rosenberg. We have the Tea and Trade expansion as well. Glass Road, which just got uh, picked up by Capstone Games. I can tell you, man, they're on a roll, that company. Le Havre. I know Tom loves Le Havre. That's that's. I know that's in his. I know it's in his top 100. Don't know well, but I think it's. I think it's way up there too. Uh, At the Gates of Loyang. All of these games I've played. I just love them. So here is uh, Agricola with um, Farmers of the Moor, the goodies, and I'm sure this is the revised edition with the Anna Meeples in it. Um, but again, we have a couple of more copies of Agricola. We'll add in here. Orin Labora, Mercator, Mercator. One I have not played yet. Fairy Trails, Bonanza. Played that years ago, the bean game. We also have Bean Trader. This is the Inland Port, I believe is sort of like, uh, yeah, it is. It's the Le Havre specifically two-player game. And we have the Cave vs. Cave two-player game, which is the two-player game of Caverna the Cave Farmers, which you can see we have two of those in here. Again, um, and again, like I said, if we have hot games or really good games that we know are really popular that get played a lot because we do have the data from what gets checked out of the library we'll make sure we have a couple of games a couple of copies of those in the library for you like feast of odin we have another copy for sure we'll be adding in there um and we have the norwegians expansion which uh i've played twice and it, it's excellent it changes a lot some people say it's like a must now so we have that nova luna came out not too long ago patchwork I think he might have started the whole polyomino craze. I don't know, probably not, but uh, <laughs> Patchwork's fantastic. And of course, now they got Patchwork with the different skins on it. Nussfjord. Robin of Lockley. That was kind of a miss for me for Uwe Rosenberg game, I remember. But uh, hey, you can't hit home runs out of the park all the time, right? Hallertau. Still have yet to get that to the table, and I'm dying to. Just have the colonist here, because I know it's very similar and Cottage Garden should actually be on the other side there to keep with the Uber Rosenberg games. Uh, and I know we're adding more and we're getting more. So again, we're always putting those in. We have La Granja and uh, there's a Stauffer Dynasty game there. So that continues on with shelf 3C. Now 3D. Moving down here. This is, as you can see, our Vital Lacerda section with uh, CO2. Actually, I have uh, the newest one over there. I should probably put those together. But anyway, they're, they're there. Again, we're, we're fixing and maneuvering as we go along. Escape plan, the gallerist. We have Kanban EV. We have a couple other Kanban, the Automotive Revolution. I believe that's the base as well as the driver's edition. On Mars, of course, Lisboa. And look at the two, how distinctly different they are of the editions of Vinhos. So again, we want to make sure, or we're trying to have, if if we have them, you know, the first edition, second edition, newest, deluxe, big box, whatever, of the games in here. So yep, there's our Vital Lacerda games. We have Kingsburg, a couple of editions of that with expansions as well. I really like Kingsburg. I haven't played it in a couple years now, but I did play it quite a bit uh, when I first learned it, because uh, with the dice placement, really good. I, I love dice placement games. And last but not least, this is shelf 5E down here. Clans of Caledonia. Oh, I just, that's that's one of my top games. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Captains of Industry. City of Carson, as you can see. 
Zian, Alchemist with expansions, Yokohama, Deluxified. I think we have a base basic Yokohama around here too. Brussels, 1893. And again, empty space to make room to add stuff. Because like I said, I know we have a couple of more Uba games around. We have to get in here or copies too. So there you go, folks. Let me show you our fancy system so far. Again, shelf five. <laughs> so as you can see, that right now is shelf five in the Dice Tower West library. So anyway, I've shown you five, four, three, two, one so far, and we've got more. So we'll be getting to all those soon. Anyway, a look at shelf five for the Dice Tower West library. See you soon.